Hello guys, welcome to my channel, yes guys, so I'll be teaching you, yes you, on how to pass your driver's test on the first try. So stick here to the end because I'll show you my tips and tricks on how to pass on the first try. And yes guys, today I will be teaching y'all on the minivan, alright? I'm not going to teach y'all on my cyanide first, it is because this is a manual transmission and it is way easier to teach y'all on an auto transmission. Anyways guys, let's hop into the video. Alright guys, so first things first on how to pass your driver's test, it is by smashing the like button and subscribe button. You know, it's for good luck guys, it is for good luck, so if you want to pass, do it, you know what I'm saying? But anyways guys, let's hop into the video for real now. All right, so first things first, they're gonna score you based on the scoring sheet. So pause this video if you wanna look over it, but I'm gonna go all over this thing. And also, they're not gonna show you this sheet, all right? They're gonna test you and question you based on the sheet only. All right, so the first step, what the instructor will do, which they will check your headlight to see if your headlight works, your turn signal will work. They will also check your windshield to see if there's any crack. And if there's any crack, they will not test you at all. They will also check your tires to see if it is flat or not. They will also check your brake light and your tail light to see if it's cracked or still works you know and they will also check your horn all right so by them checking out your horn it is just by doing this to see if it works you know all right guys so let's go into the interior right? we already click on the horn so the horn is already set and then they're gonna go with the emergency light too so you're gonna click on that and then bam make sure it's the triangle all right it's always the triangle for the emergency light and then the defrost all right they're gonna tell you where the defrost is i mean they're not gonna tell you you're gonna tell them so make sure it's always this thing right this little thing right here and also they're gonna say where's the windshield wiper which you just click this thing down okay works they're gonna say where's the headlight okay you just just this thing okay and then sometimes different cars they have different emergency brakes or handbrakes some is like right here and some is like down here where like you just press this thing all right and that is technically all for the interior if i miss anything comment down below so for your hand sign they're gonna say what is your hand sign so technically this is right this is left and the down it is stop all right all right so before when the instructor's gonna get in they're gonna get in like this right they're gonna get in they're gonna act they're gonna be comfortable they're gonna act all stupid like they don't know anything so your part what you need to do is check your rear view mirror both your side mirror even though if it's good check it all right check it they're gonna mark you down if you do not check it and also where you guys are about to go make sure to tell him or her to buckle up because they're gonna act all stupid like they don't know what to do so you're gonna have to tell them to buckle up and put on the seatbelt if not you're gonna get marked down and guys listen out do not go when they tell you to not go, right? Go when they tell you to go, all right? So if you go without them saying not to go or something like that, they're gonna mark you down or you will automatically fail. All right guys, so let's go into the driving part. Right? So when you're gonna reverse, make sure to put this hand at the back of this thing, all right? And you're gonna have to check and look like this. Both for your side, both for your rear view mirror, look at the back like this slowly let go of the brake if you have a center console backup camera make sure to look at that too make sure to like do a hell obvious like keep on doing like that you know like like this <laughs> keep on doing like that right trust me all right guys so what you guys need to do first is stop behind the sidewalk first if not then you guys will automatically fail so after you stop check to see if there's anyone and slowly creep up like this and then check again and they, they, there's no car, they just go. All right, so when do parallel parking, make sure to check this mirror, right? And also check out the rearview mirror too. All right, guys, so after the parallel parking, they're gonna tell you to reverse backward, right? So what you wanna do is put your like this again and check on your side view mirror and your rear view mirror, right? And if you hit the curbs at all or even touch it, you will automatically fail. So when you do parallel parking, you don't hit the curb and anything right and when you back up don't hit anything too because you will fail all right just do this check both of your side like this and yeah and then you'll be set so after when you're done doing the parallel parking and reversing they're going to tell you to go so what you want to do is signal first check that mirror check your rear view mirror and check that mirror right? make it super obvious because if you don't make it obvious they're going to mark you turn like that make sure it's your signaling double check look over your shoulder like this if there's no car then proceed to go so when coming to a stop and if there's a car ahead of you which uh i'm just demonstrating for y'all because i can't drive and record at the same time because i'm the cameraman you know so make sure to smash the like button but yes guys anyways 
Make sure when you guys park behind a car, make sure you guys can see their rear tires. If not, then it means that you guys are parking way too close or park like one car length away, like to be extra sure, you know what I'm saying? All right guys, so after when you guys go test drive, you may pass the test driving, right? But if you can't park, when they tell you to park inside of the DMV and you hit or go over this white line, you will automatically fail too. Even though if you pass the driving test or even if you hit these curves, right? You will automatically fail if you pass over these lines or hit the curb. So make sure, do not, go over the white lines, make sure you practice a lot. So at the end of your driving test, he or she's gonna tell you if you pass or fail. So and he's gonna show you all the improvement and he's gonna show you the score list to keep this paper, all right? So yeah. All right, so you got made it to this far. I'm gonna assume I protect to y'all, so thank you. And yes, guys, so before your driver's test, make sure to go test drive around the DMV block, right? The DMV block is not gonna be located at the west side if it is located in the east side, right? So make sure to go test drive around the DMV block because you're guys gonna go take the test around the DMV blocks, all right? And also, this is not the time to put on no music, no head jamming around, you know what I'm saying? It's the time to focus on your test seriously and take your test seriously, all right? Your, your instructor is not gonna want no music, right? He or she's gonna be focused on you and you only on the way how you drive, all right? He or she don't care if your music is so cool or, or whatever. He, nobody cares, all right? So make sure no music, roll up all the windows, put AC if, if so, make sure the instructor is comfortable, right? Because when I took my test, the instructor was like, <laughs> like all panicking, like, I was like, what the hell is this dude breathing hella hard? The reason why it is because the previous driver failed and probably like shocked him or something like that, but you know, make sure to drive calmly, stay calm, make him feel comfortable, ask how his day is, whatever and whatever, right? Make sure to not like put on no music or like do like whatever, like crazy stuff, cause you're gonna scare him and he's gonna feel you. Make him feel comfortable and he might even pass you right on. You know, if he likes you, he might even pass you, you know what I'm saying? So make him feel comfortable. Don't make no uh, stupid kind of move, you know what I'm saying? Just make him feel comfortable, talk with him, and no stupid stuff. And make sure to go drive around the block before you take your test, all right? So take it seriously if you really, really, really want to pass on the first try, all right? Anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy this video and if you guys did, smash the like button and subscribe button. Check out my channel if I make pretty decent content, consider subscribing, you know what I'm saying? And if I did help you a little bit or a lot in this video, make sure to like and subscribe, alright? And go take your test. Go take your test if you failed or passed, let me know. And if you have anything, comment down below because I do reply to all of my comments. And if I don't reply to you, dislike this video, but if I do, you gotta subscribe and like, right? Deal? Shake on it, deal, okay? Okay, but anyways guys, by the meantime, I'll catch you on another video, and I hope you pass. I pray for you, I hope for you. I, I hope you pass, or right? I'll pray for you. Comment down below, I'll pray for you, right? But anyways guys, I hope you guys did enjoy it. And um, you know, by the meantime, I'll catch you on another video. So dream big and inspired. Ooh, we're almost at 300 subscribers, guys, thank you. For 283, y'all, you know, I truly appreciate it. And I know, you know, if you're new, go check out my channel if I'm bringing decent content. Subscribe, you know what I'm saying?